So we've come out to Fornes Lighthouse on Djursland here in Jutland and it's a beautiful, beautiful lighthouse. I've been walking back and forward at this fence here and trying to find the best composition. I have a few tractor tracks in this foreground right here, but I think that actually works to lead the eye into the lighthouse and the background houses here. I'm also using a polarizing filter right now, which really brings out the blues and darkens down the sky quite a lot. I'm waiting for a few puffy clouds to come in, so I have a little bit of interest in the sky. On top of that, with this dark sky, the foreground stands out even more. And right now it is sidelit by the sun here behind me. And it also sidelits the lighthouse. So we have beautiful light on one side of the lighthouse and on the foreground, which just makes everything I want to show in the photo really pop and stand out. So settings wise, it's super simple. Again, aperture priority. I usually always use aperture priority. And then I'm shooting at f11. I'm focusing about 10 meters into the scene and then I get everything in focus. I've had to zoom into 35 millimeter because the scene here is is quite wide. I'm far from the lighthouse and I can't get closer because of the field. So 35 millimeter and f11 and that gives me a shutter speed of 1 30th of a second when I have my polarizing filter attached. As my histogram is all fine, I don't have to take bracketing into consideration. So it's basically just about photographing whenever the puffy clouds are in position. So with all these things combined, I get a beautiful pre-sunset photo. If you want to know more about composition in landscape photography, be sure to get my ebook on the subject. You can get the free light version of the ebook by signing up for my newsletter. So we've come to the other side of the lighthouse and I've been walking like a little bit in that direction and I can't really come further in that direction. But I think I found a composition that somehow work here along this fence. So this is like a typical rule of thirds composition where I have this little bush here in the foreground and then I have the fence leading into the scene and into the lighthouse here in the background. So what I have to decide is the perspective, the foreground in relation to the background. If I go to 24 millimeter and go all the way close here to this little bush here in the foreground and I make sure that I include the fence, then I get one perspective. But if I move further back and zoom a little bit in, the perspective change really, really drastically. And the further back I go, now you can't see me, but I will make sure to zoom a little bit in here. And you can see in this picture here that the perspective have completely changed. Now, I like this composition, but I've actually found one which is maybe a little bit better, a little bit further back. So I've come a little bit further back and I think I like this composition a hair better. And this is one of the only times where I'm actually going for one of those classic wide angle looks where you have quite a, quite a strong foreground. And I'm simply just using the fence here as the foreground and using the repeating patterns of the fence moving into the scene and into the lighthouse there in the background. The light is just absolutely gorgeous. I have zero interest in the sky right now but hopefully there are some clouds there in the background they might move in but uh, yeah you never know there's not a whole lot to it 
Again, just as before, I have to move a little bit back and forward to make a decision about how big I actually want this foreground pole relative to the lighthouse. But that's about it. I'm shooting at f16 to get everything in focus. And just to be sure, I am focus stacking this one. So I'm focusing one on the foreground and one on the background. That ought to cover the entire plane of focus. Now, since I am shooting at f16, my shutter speed is getting really, really low because there's not a whole lot of light in the scene right now. So I'm all the way down at one eighth of a second and I'm even underexposing the photo a little bit. So I have to wait for the wind to die down before I take the shot. So the first photo came out just about as I imagined it, however looking at it now it does seem very much in the postcard end of the spectrum and not in the wow I want to hang it on my wall end. The blue sky really pops and actually so much I had to brighten it up and reduce the saturation of the blues. The puffy clouds also stands out really well contrasting the sky. There is however one big elephant in the room, or rather there are two in this photo. Those houses doesn't really add anything to the photo and I just couldn't find an angle where I could exclude them. If I could have gone a little closer, I would likely have introduced a bit more foreground and tried to cover the houses with some of the barley, but the fence did not allow for that. The other side of the lighthouse worked a bit better in regard to excluding the houses or at least reducing their appearance, however I just got a tall tree in there instead. Besides the tall tree, I think the composition works well with the fence in the foreground leading you into the background. I also like the light in this photo, but the lighthouse works more like a silhouette in this than in the previous photo due to the angle of the sun. All in all, a couple of okay photos. Not something I want to hang on my wall, but they would likely work well for a travel magazine. If you want to learn more about composition in landscape photography, be sure to get my two ebooks. There are links to both of them down in the description. I have purposely designed them to be very easy to read and they are full of examples. If you're not sure whether you want them or not, you can check out the two free light versions first. You can get one by signing up to my newsletter and the other one is simply just free via the link down in the description. If you want to see more of these videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, I would highly appreciate both a like and a comment.